investigations. I don't mean coroner's courts, I mean the trust themselves. And then the second thing um, I think this report is saying is that where things do come to us, there will be some circumstances where we actually do need to look at individual cases. Indeed, I've got an individual case at the minute which um, we're working with um, NHS England to carry out an investigation. This is a very old case of a family whose child died. They've not had resolution. They feel nobody's listened to them, including CQC. And uh, we're taking um, some action to work with NHS England where they can use their powers to carry out a much more historic investigation to see if we can actually get some resolution to those individuals. I think that's a very exceptional case, and I'm sure you'll get more exceptional cases. Um, so I think what we're trying to do here is strike a balance. In truth, um, uh, and maybe some of my l language in this report has been too cautious, I think there's been a presumption that all deaths of people with mental health problems will be investigated. And this is the, ambigu this is the ambiguity point. And what we're trying to do here is just be absolutely clear about the approach we're going to take on that. Um, part of the discussions with NHS England is... Uh, of the transfers that come are some of the transfers about what they would otherwise investigate or do they keep those investigation and this is still fluid at the minute, that's still the subject of the discussion that we need to land. Uh, those conversations will take place over the summer and into the early autumn.